What is going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to yet another video. My name is Anthony Pinto da Costa and you are watching The Canadian Physios Dude. Oh! All right people, so I am officially one day out from writing the physiotherapy competency exam better yet known as the PCE. In my last day in the life video, I explained a little bit about this exam. However, if you haven't watched that, I'll explain what it is right now. So the exam that I'm writing tomorrow is one of the two national licensure exams that I have to pass in order to be a registered physiotherapist in Canada. So the one that I'm writing tomorrow is a 200 question, multiple choice, computer-based exam that I'm gonna be writing in Ottawa. And then the one that I'm doing in November is my clinical exam. However, I have to pass this exam first in order to be eligible to do the practical component. And then once I pass both of them, I'm officially a registered physiotherapist in Canada. So like I said, the exam is tomorrow and I figured that I would take this day to just show you guys how I've been preparing over the past couple months for this exam coming up tomorrow. So back in April, I purchased this book here. It's by the Physical Therapy Development Institute and it is their PCE written component guide. This book is 451 pages of basically an amalgamation of everything we've learned in physio school over the past two years. However, what it does is it takes all the relevant information and puts it in this book and then kind of sifts out all the fluff that we learn too that aren't so relevant. The content in this book is based off eight different physiotherapy curricula in Canada. The great thing about this study guide is when you purchase it, you don't just get the book. Along with the book, you get added to this course website that has 60 hours worth of lecture videos that coincide with the material that's in this book. So when you're watching the lecture material, you can take some notes and follow along from there. So now that you guys know that, I'll just quickly show you guys the website. All right, people, so here is the course website. Physical Therapy Development Institute, PCE Masterclass. Up here, I got my profile, and then up here in the top right corner, we got Cash, who is the creator of this course. Also a former Queen's PT grad, not a big deal. Anyways, if we scroll down here, we got the course content. So everything that's gonna be covered on the PCE. So we got professional practice, cardio resp, got MSK, neuro, peds, multi-systems, and then the one that everybody loves, electrophysical agents. Okay, so if we go into one of these here, so say MSK system, it shows all the topics that are covered. So TMJ, cervical spine, thoracic, the list goes on. Assistive gate devices, manual therapy, we got everything in here. So let's go to one of them. We'll choose, say knee. So now here's the lecture video associated with it. So the content in this video is what goes hand in hand with the content in your book. So let's play it here. All right, so I think you guys get it there. Basically, he just talks about the relevant anatomy and then goes in to talk about all the relevant conditions associated with that region of the body. So if we just go back up here, go back. So as you can see, I'm on the home page, still in the MSK section, so I'll click there. And after you're done all of these, so you click the green arrow to show that you're done, there's a quiz at the end of it. Okay, so this was a 50 question quiz, I can start the quiz, and then it tells me 
what I scored on it, and how I measure up to everybody else who's in the course. Because that's basically how the PCE is graded. They measure you up to everybody else who took the PCE. So, again, very relevant and very organized. So we go back to the homepage here again. So, it's gonna be all the same for each system here, okay? So you're gonna have a quiz at the end of it, test your knowledge, and then after you're done the quiz, there's gonna be a video explaining the rationale for each answer. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this study schedule here. So this is when we started, so May 11th. Uh, you can go at your own pace, but this schedule here is just to keep you on track and make sure that you're keeping up with the course materials. Because like I said, there's about 60 hours worth of lecture video. So that's a lot to keep up with, especially while we're still all in school and on placement and doing the stuff concurrently with that. It's really good for helping to keep you on track. So you can see here, professional practice. And then the next day we started cardio resp and then you do all of these lecture videos and then you do a quiz here and then the next day you start MSK and then it goes on from there all the way until game day and then the last thing here is the course forum where you can post your questions cash will usually get back to you very quickly post his answer and then everybody else can see if they had a common question so again super organized website here so that's basically the course website there so like I said guys you get the book the course website and there's one other thing you also get which are Facebook live quizzes so within that schedule that I was just showing you guys there are some Facebook live quizzes scheduled in there periodically just to give us a bit more practice a few more questions that we can work through so that we're constantly keeping on the ball with our study so yeah those are all the functions of this course it's been awesome it's honestly saved me a lot of stress in terms of going through my own notes that I've accumulated over the past two years and sifting out all the relevant information. It's all just in this book and I really didn't have to do too much to get myself organized and prepared for this exam. So I highly recommend this course. If you guys are interested, I urge you to go to the website. I'll put it somewhere on the screen here in the description below and then just check it out, see what the other features are that I maybe missed when I was showing you guys the website and the course book. So I've basically just been going through the study guide because like I said, it's got everything I need, except I have also been going through my anatomy cue cards here. So this is the trail guide to the body. I got these cue cards when I was in undergrad kin at Western. I'll show you guys a few of these. So we got Proneus Brevis there, and then basically if you just flip the card, it's got origin, surgeon, function, innervation, and it's got all the muscles in the body here, so. I've just gone through these a few times, not too much, and not going too in depth with them, just basically knowing the innervations and the functions because once you know those two, you can basically just guess the insertion and origin. It's pretty intuitive from there. So these are great to go through as a refresher and a reminder of your anatomy. So other than those two things, that is basically how I've been preparing for this exam. So guys, I'm gonna head home now, study for maybe a little bit longer, and then me and the guys are gonna head up to Ottawa, check into our Airbnb, take you guys along for the ride with me, get our reaction before the exam and after the exam. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, Reed, it's time to hit the road. Hit the road with road? Yeah, buddy. Let's go see Durko. Hey, Sammy. Come here. So we're en route to Ottawa, getting ready to write this exam. Durko, what's up? Less than 24 hours now. How are you feeling? Uh, as confident as I can be. Yeah. We'll catch up with you guys when we get to the Airbnb. Made it to the B&B. Not bad. <laughs> All right, people. 
Take one last look through the book. We're ready to call it. See you guys in the morning. All right, guys. About to head to the test center to go do this test. Got my Jordan jersey on because it's the clutchest player in NBA history, so had to wear this one today. So I will see you guys when I'm done this test. Finally done the exam. Took the full four hours to do it. It was definitely a long one. It was definitely a weird one too, but I think overall it was pretty prepared. And I think I'm gonna pass this one. As for right now, this concludes studying basically every single day for about two months now, just getting prepared for this thing. So with that said, I'm just gonna take some time right now, just relax, spend some time and celebrate with the PT fam, and then I'll see you guys in a month when the results come out. Catch you later. All right guys, so it's been about five weeks since writing the exam and the results are officially out. So let's take a look. Let's go. So it's great to know that I passed the exam. I think I'm a little bit more relieved than I am excited, mainly because I know that I have another exam that I have to pass in about three months here. But nonetheless, I'm really happy about this. So again, guys, really recommend this course if you can take it. Definitely check them out because they'll definitely help you for your prep for the written component of the PCE. All right, guys, so if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and of course, smash that subscribe button. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you don't wanna do that, you can reach out to me on Instagram, at CDN Physio Student, and we can go from there. All right, people, so I will see you at the next video. Another day, another dollar to be made I'm a workaholic, ballin' hard until the grave Used to wanna be a baller for the NBA Till the fellas round me started dunking in the 7th grade